guy coming back at you up on my roof here in Boquilia, Florida with some really positive news about my solar energy system. The first thing to understand is I don't just have solar. I have solar hot water right here and I have a solar attic fan. I was told a number of years ago that the solar hot water is going to save people in the house about $25 a month each for hot water in the house that would otherwise be heated with electricity. So that's a big, big bonus to our properties. We don't really have to pay for hot water, except a little bit in the winter or when we have guests. And the solar attic fan here has a little thermocouple that drops in. When it's warm and gets hot out, this baby turns on and evacuates the attic, thus keeping the house even cooler. But the most important thing is on the east side of my roof, I got 3,200 watts over here of Canadian solar. And on the other side, I got some Canadian solar and other just under 3,000 watts for about a six kilowatt system. And all of those are running through my two Outback three plus kilowatt inverters down here and into my battery banks for when the power's out. We can see up here that today alone, we produce 28.5 kilowatt hours of energy what does this all really mean we see here that our last electric bill was 23 dollars and 89 cents and if we look at the charges right down here we can see that's all basically hookup fee and right above it we can show kilowatt usage on that bottom number negative 35 actually produced more electricity than we used last month and we're baking that energy thanks to net metering for the summer when we're going to need more and it gets hotter down here while everybody down here is grousing about the $300, $400, $500 electric bills, and even on quieter months like this, $200 to $300, we're paying $22, $23, bucks, and in the summer, we max out somewhere around $80. Real question we're talking about tonight, is it worth it? Is solar power worth it? Hell yeah! Look at this. Our electric bill is nothing. This is a retirement plan for older people like us who are thinking of the future and want to reduce the amount of money they got to pay to the utilities. If your electric bill is 20 to 80 or $100 versus a couple hundred to 500 dollars, how much more money are you going to have in your pocket at the end of every month and at the end of the year? Don't forget now there's 30% federal tax credit that helps pay for it and I do DIY systems which you can save another 30% on. Answer to the question is, solar power really, really worth it? The turbine guy says, it sure as hell is for me, and it should be for you too. Turbine guy, signing off.